In 2011, Jason DeSalvo gave Ducati their only Daytona 200 win. Let's hear him tell us this incredible story. Here at the Barber Vintage Motorsports Museum, this is one of my favorite motorcycles because it took me to the 2011 Daytona 200 victory. Wheeling across that curving, dirt flying up. Man, these guys are going for it. This is it. And look at DeSalvo on the inside as he tries to blast up the inside, but he's not in that big multi rider draft like Dane Westby is in the middle. Man, what a break he got getting being able to get back. Look at DeSalvo around the outside of Zempke in that kink. Wow, that was a serious move right there. Look at the drive on that Ducati. He said the thing sideways. He's going to drop low on the back. He's going to get Harry down here. Watch the demon breaking maneuvers. Dane Westby to Salvo Westby. And then up the inside is Corey West. Here comes the number 40. Got a great toe off a of laugher right there. This is going to get really close right here. Jason to Salvo on his latest motor's racing genetics. Jason to Salvo wins the Daytona 200. Wow. And this race ends in spectacular fashion. The Salvo gets Ducati's first ever win in the 200. That is amazing. That's the best race I think I've ever seen down here. And this Ducati 848 Evo is a pretty special motorcycle in the way that it took me to that Daytona 200 victory because we did it with two engines. The first engine blew up right as the red flag was coming out during that race and the reason for it was because the the front tires that the whole field was running actually were no longer viable as a race tire for the the remainder of the race they had just repaved the track that year we had never seen temperatures that high on the new surface until race day what was happening was everybody's front tires were failing so simultaneously the engine expiring and the red flag and due to a, a little sort of loophole in the rules at the daytona 200 because they do pit stops um, they allow work to be done on the bike under red flag conditions. My team at the time, the latest motors racing crew, changed the motor. They, they took the motor out of, out of my backup bike, the expired motor out of this bike, swapped them, and got me back out for the start of the race by the time that everybody had gotten their front tires changed. Once in a lifetime, probably once ever scenario that we were able to take advantage of and go to victory. I love this motorcycle. Thank you to Ducati for making such an amazing model in the 848 Evo, and thank you to Mr. Barber for putting it on display here at the museum for the world to see. We hope you enjoyed this story. We have a lot more. And please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like or share, as the Barber Museum is a not-for-profit 501c3 foundation, and we exist thanks to your donations memberships and visits.